Okay, over there beyond my TV, I have a Virgin Super Hub 2. Um, dual band 2.45 gigahertz. Performs very well when it's working, but the problem is the wireless keeps dropping out and it lacks some advanced features that I'd like to be able to use. Um, so, in this series of videos, I'm going to start by showing you how do you use your own, your own router instead of the Virgin one, uh, followed by configuring a custom firmware, open source firmware on your router and eventually showing you how to set up a PXE uh, boot server on that router so that you can boot machines off your network into Linux um, there's a specific aim uh, in mind with this, I have a laptop, it's quite an old one but it doesn't have a CD drive and it doesn't support you for booting from USB but it does support PXE booting and I want to put Linux on it so this is a just a fun little project something to do this this is may or may not be what people view to be the correct way of doing it but it's just the way that works so um, we'll go from there okay so first make sure you're connected to your network in which case I am um, and you need to fire up a web browser so I'm going to use Firefox most web browsers work but, uh, Firefox is pretty much the standard I tend to use so your default IP address for the router I believe it's written on the bottom of it but it's 192.168.0.1 this is specifically for the Virgin Superhub 2 and you'll be presented with a login page and the default password is change me or one word all lowercase It will say that you should change your password, which is true, you should change your password, but I've reset everything to default for this demonstration. And you want to go into your Superhub settings, scroll down, and there's this section here that says modem mode. Now it's showing here in the little graphic that the bottom port is the only one that's going to work. That's going to the one that's the one you're going to connect to your third-party router once you've turned on modem mode. Now, once you do turn on modem mode, the wireless functionality will be disabled. The only way you can connect to the router is by going in uh, with a direct wired connection to that port. Um, so if you get stuck, you can reset the router by holding in the reset button on the back for 30 seconds and then wait about five minutes for it to reboot and it will go back to its factory default so you can reset everything. So I'm going to click modem mode and say yes it's going to reboot now and when it comes back up it will be in modem mode and uh, we'll connect our third party router so the Virgin Media uh, Super Hub is now rebooted and it's in modem mode this is the router I'm going to use this is an Asus RT N16 it's a very powerful route of what it is, only single band unfortunately, I would like a dual band one but uh, I've had this one for a while now and uh, it works well and it's very reliable but not with the stock firmware which is what, you're f what we're going to uh, resolve as well so let's turn my lens around what we're going to do is grab our Ethernet cable, connect one end into the WAN port, the other end, a bit difficult to show you because the cables are very short and that goes into the bottom port closest to the power input on the Virgin router. to apply power. I'm holding down the red button on the back of the router to restore factory settings um, because I want it to be uh, vanilla install from default. So what I'll do is I'll probably just Tuck that behind 
wait for it to come up. Right, so now our uh, router has rebooted and we see a network called ASUS, it's open. Now on a Mac it will open a window automatically to start the wizard. Uh, on a PC, on a Windows machine you may have to go to the router's default IP address which you can tell um, by running IP config um, in a in a command line command prompt to find out here. Here we can just go to advanced uh, TCP IP and it's the default gateway. So it's 192.168.1.1 is the default. So let's get on with it. So let's go. Let's do the wizard. Don't have to do the wizard if you know if you're familiar with configuring a router. You don't need to do that. So it's trying to detect my connection type. So it's worked out that I'm connected to the internet. So I'm going to call this uh, testing and password one two three. Obviously. That's not really what it's going to be. I will change this in a minute to something else. This is just for the purposes of the video. Another route is going to reboot. And once it's rebooted, it will show up in the list of available wireless networks. So, there it is. So, it's good for testing. Red one two three, and we are connected. We can verify that by browsing to a website such as the BBC. And there you go. It's pretty irrelevant, really, because we're going to flash the uh, firmware with a new firmware. But for this portion of the video, that's. Um, how you get a third-party router working with Virgin Media.